Shalom. I want to start giving all praise due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, who ignorantly, who ignorantly people call God and Jesus. The Father's name is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shah. And this is quick to the point. I'm going to give you like five scriptures that proving in the Bible that the Most High made a covenant with Isaac and not with Ishmael. Okay? So just the Most High, it's basic, but it's always good for edification. The Most High made a covenant Isaac and not with Ishmael. Okay? So, let's prove that. The first scripture we're going to go to is Genesis 21 and 12. Genesis 21, verse 12. And the Most High said unto Abraham, Let it not be grievous in thy sight because of the lad and because of the bondwoman. And all that Sarah hath said unto thee, hearken unto her voice. For in Isaac, for in Isaac, for in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Okay? <clears throat> now let's go to Genesis 17. Genesis 17, verse 19 to 21. And the Most High said, Sarah, thy wife, shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. And I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, for everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, verse 20, and as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him. And will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes, princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. Verse 21. But my covenant I will establish with Isaac, which Sarah, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at the set time of the next year. Okay? And now let's go to Genesis 25, verse 5 and 6. Genesis chapter 25, verse 5 and 6. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines, which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away from Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. So these scriptures that I just proved that the Most High made the covenant with Isaac, not Ishmael. And I gave you Genesis 17, 19 to 21. I gave you Genesis 21, verse 12. And I also gave you Genesis 25, verse 5 and 6. Okay? So the Most High made a covenant with Isaac and not Ishmael. Now, to add on, all right? A little bit about Islam and concerning Ishmael. Islam was created in 622 AD. Okay. And you know that they worship that meteorite stone and they believe in uh, some of that Kabbalah. Okay. So here's a couple of scriptures um, furthering that, giving more evidence. Deuteronomy 2864. Deuteronomy 2864. All right. Make sure that's right. Okay. Deuteronomy 2864. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all the people from one end of the earth unto the other. And there thou shalt serve of the gods which neither thou nor Thy forefathers have known even wood and stone. Okay? And the reason why I bring that out too, because we have a lot of Israelites that are in a Gentile state of mind calling themselves Muslims. Okay? Worshipping other gods. 
when it's only one true power. Okay? So that's a that religion, Islam, is Ishmael's religion. That's Ishmael's God. And remember, Ishmael God or Ishmael people, they did they did not have the covenant. The Most High only made the covenant with the nation of Israel through Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Okay? So a lot of our people, Israelites in a Gentile state of mind, is calling itself Islam. Islam was created in 622 AD. Okay? Now let me give you Deuteronomy 32, 17, and 18. Deuteronomy 32, 17, and 18. They sacrificed unto devils, not to the Most High, to gods whom they knew not, to new gods that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Okay? Verse 18. Of the rock that begot thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten the Most High that formed thee. Okay, verse 19, and when the Lord saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. Okay, and verse 20, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not the most high. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities. Yeah, right, with their fake gods. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of Israelites is caught claiming the, the um Muslim today. Okay, and that's Ishmael's God. Okay, and Ishmael is a heathen. He's not one of us. The Most High made a covenant with us, so our people is following all these different things. Okay, now let me give you Jeremiah 2 and 2.27. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 27. And this is what our people is doing. Jeremiah 2, 27. Saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. But the Most High is going to say this. And he's talking to the Israelites in the Gentile state of mind, calling themselves Muslims and every other goddamn philosophy or so-called religion under the sun that they're following. Okay? Saying to a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou hast brought me forth, for they have turned their back unto me and not their face. But in time of their trouble, they will say, arise and save us. But we are thy gods. Most, verse 28, but where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can and save thee in the time of trouble. For according to the number of cities are gods of Judah. And I'm just bound to read um, verse 29. Wherefore will you plead with me? You all have transgressed against me, said the Lord. And that's what all of us is doing to this day. So I use... Leviticus, I mean, I'm sorry, I use, I went to Ishmael, showing you the form of worship that the Most High made a covenant with Ishmael. Salaki, I'm sorry, the Most High made a covenant with Israel and not Ishmael. So the covenant and the blessing started from Abraham, Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. So the Most High made a covenant with the nation of Israel. But as far as Ishmael, you know what I'm saying? Um, he gave him everything he had and sent him away. Okay? So we shouldn't be not in Islam. We shouldn't be any other religion. We should be worshiping the Most High, whose name is Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shah. We shouldn't be in any of these um, philosophy religions. Okay? Because it's off. Leviticus 26 and 1. Let's go to Leviticus 26 and 1. Leviticus. Twenty-six 
disappointing. Leviticus 26 and 1. You shall make you no idols, no graven images or image. Neither rear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image of a stone in your land. Right. Because that's what Ishmael does. He sets up a stone, the, a, the rock, the meteorite stone, and he worship, he worship it. So what is the Most High telling you? And most of our people, a lot of our people is calling themselves Muslims. Okay? And that's not our religion. That's not our culture. That's not our way of life. Read that again. Leviticus 26 and 1. You shall make you no idols. Is an immediate meteorite an idol, a stone, nor a graven image? Neither rear you up a standing image. Neither shall you set up any image or of a stone in your land to bow down into it. For I am the Lord, your power. See? And that's what when you go there, um, what is it? Mecca. A lot of Muslims go to Mecca every year and they, they face the east or call themselves facing the east. I think they face the east and they worship that meteorite stone. All right. And the Most High said, don't make up your own, no idols. Now, I don't care what Ishmael does. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a heathen. I'm not concerned about Ishmael. I am concerned about the nation of Israel. First and foremost, the elect out of the nation of Israel. But I still have to spread this news to everybody so they can't so they can can't say that they didn't hear it. All right. And by you worshiping or in Muslims in Islam itself or calling yourself a, <coughs> a Muslim. You're going off according to Leviticus 26 and 1. Okay. So the Most High made a covenant with who? The nation of Israel. Not with the heathen nations, not with Ishmael, and not with any other nationality. He only made his covenant and his blessings to the nation of Israel. Brother Shema, Shalom. Oh, so you made a choice, you want him to do it. Oh, selfish. This is 